We're here with the new CYC and Electrify Bico. Let's check it out. So what's new about this motor? So this generation, we've, they've actually made a lot of small improvements and large improvements that'll affect both quality of life and just general performance. So starting with the spindle. Now the spindle previously was square taper, which has been the standard for a long time with conversion motors. The advantage here is that we're now splined. So that'll let you have cranks that are a lot more durable longer lasting and it's actually a more flexible system they've created here so that we can install this on pretty much any bike using the same motor frame. Um, moving forward from there, they've actually improved the controller. Now previously we used the ASI BAC855 and BAC2000 controllers. It's a new in-house controller that's going to improve both torque sensor response and overall just power delivery. Now. They've made it more waterproof. Uh, when you buy it as a brand new Gen 3 unit, it comes, as you see here, we've got this brand new waterproofing containment. And if you already have an existing Gen 2 motor, there is a pathway for you to upgrade to this. Um, in multiple steps, you get to choose. They've also improved the displays. Now, existing owners can still use the 750 and the 500C. But now we have both a SW102 and another new display from Topology Tech. Uh, generally, you'll find that the both the install will be easier with this motor and the performance will be dramatically improved. That sounds like a lot to take in all at once. Let's uh, go back to the displays. So I'm guessing that this newer display is going to be a lot brighter. It's going to have a lot more information at your fingertips. But this other smaller, thinner one, you had a model number for this one, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, folks who've been doing this for a while may be familiar. This is the SW102. It's the most discreet display on the market. So as far as um, visibility, it's a very bright display, but you can see it's, I mean, not much larger than a finger. So on any handlebars, this is the display you want to go with if you're going for something stealthy. And speaking of stealth, with our stealth motor, you were mentioning earlier that this one can be mounted in a lot of different variations. Yeah, so the interesting thing with CYC versus what else is out there is traditional conversion motors have been single piece installs. So the, the gear reduction housing, motor housing has been attached to the motor where CYC has extended it forward on both the stealth and the pro. So what that allows is you get better clearance for uh, the bottom bracket. Um, and you also can mount the motor in different positions. It can be mounted up into the triangle as well just by repositioning the controller. And when it's up in that position, that, like you said, provides a lot more ground clearance. Are there other bicycles that couldn't have used a motor like this until now? Thank you for asking, yes. This motor can be installed on carbon frames. So traditionally, you could not install a conversion motor on, or a mid-drive conversion motor on a carbon frame, but with CYC, you can. Okay, and I noticed that they've done something else with the chain rings up here. How does that affect the new, mo the new bikes going forward? So one interesting, interesting thing they've done is that because the motor housing is further forward and the gear reduction is here on the outside, you actually get an excellent chain line from having the bicycle uh, chain ring up closer to the frame. So it's more of a true chain line. And that's a 104 BCD, so it's adaptable to whatever size uh, you're looking for, whatever, however much torque or speed you're after. So this means that you won't have to do as much customization. Correct. You can buy this motor out of box and have everything you need and uh, have a very clean install. And that's true also for the X1 Pro, which just has a larger, larger motor windings, right? Yes. So the bigger distinction to make here between these two motors is that the Stealth is a 1500 watt motor and the X1 Pro is a 5000 watt motor. How much heavier is this? Ugh. Oh yeah. So the Stealth is, uh, is about seven pounds. The X1 Pro is about 12 pounds. You have been slain. Oh, so 12 pounds yeah. for this guy? So stealth, stealth's quite, quite a bit lighter. Oh, can we say that it weighs more so I can feel like I'm stronger? <laughs> <laughs> I'm
I'm sorry, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about the batteries in these new motors. So CYC is pretty unique because it, they can get, take anything from 36 volts to 72 volts, and they can take really high amperages. So we at Electrify Bike offer different varieties, and we do offer high amp battery output as well. So uh, like, for example, we have these Minimax batteries that are 52 volt, uh, 8 amp hour, and 50 amps out. So you can actually push 2600 watts with a small battery in this compact size. But we also offer 72 volt batteries that'll put 80 amps out. So you can get quite a bit of performance. Wow, that's a ton. What kind of top speed would that throw a bike up to? Well, off-road. <laughs> of course, yeah. of course. Off-road on <laughs> private property with the proper safety and insurance. Theoretically, what could that throw a bike up to? Uh, we've seen other create content creators produce up to 65 miles an hour using an X1 Pro. Wow. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else out there that can do that. <laughs> That's incredible. So what's new with the torque sensor? So with the torque sensor, uh, CYC has actually moved the wiring to be internal. So it's protected and the install is much cleaner. So it looks like that wire runs from the bottom bracket area through the metal piece that they've already cut out just exactly for that wire so that it can get into the controller. Yeah, without you telling me that, I wouldn't have known. <laughs> That's how, uh, how stealthy it is. And that's not only for the stealth, just to be clear, that's also <laughs> correct, for the X1 correct. Pro. Correct, Yes, it's a much more elegant uh, install than it was in past generations. All right, and something else I noticed on the X1 Pro is that we have this one already set up for a wider bottom bracket width. Correct. So these motors are very adaptable. So anything from 68 millimeters to 120 millimeters for either of the motors. So with this motor being able to fit a bunch of different bikes, including that 100 millimeter fat tire, that's for a lot of like serious off-road, like mud and water and things. Yeah, good point. So these new controllers are IP66, the whole motor actually. So it can go through, I mean, it can take quite a beating with the weather and uh, you could even wash it down with a hose. Just don't use a pressure washer. <laughs> so that, that IP66, uh, is that, that's a rating for waterproofing. Yes, it's a water very, resistance it's very and... yeah, it's a very coveted rating um, to just guarantee that the motor has been tested to uh, those qualifications. And that's got to be really important for a mountain bike or any any bike that's going to be going off road, particularly with a lower ground clearance that this motor can offer, or sorry, a higher absolutely. ground clearance for yeah, the bottom yeah, no. <laughs> Good correction. Yeah. So the so absolutely with. Uh, for anyone that's doing anything single track, off-road, um, anything that's going to get in the muck and the mire, this motor can take can take that beating. And also this, this is the newest motor on their lineup that is connecting to an app, is that right? Right, so they act, CYC actually has an app for the iPhone and the Android uh, that will allow you to reprogram your motor to your specifications. So. Things like um, how quickly the throttle engages, how quickly the torque sensor engages, how much power uh, gain and a through you have. All of those things are tunable to your specific needs. So, and it's very simple. The app's quick, just a few taps and you save. Awesome, I can't wait to see it. And also I can't wait to get these things on a bike. What are we gonna be putting these two motors on today? So we've got a KHS 5000, it's a carbon frame that we'll be putting an X1 Pro on today. And then we have the KHS Aguila, which is a plus size tire that we've done a lot of the Fang motors on. <laughs> and we're gonna see how the Stealth uh, sizes up against those. I'm really excited. Yeah, let's, same. Let's get rubber to the road. All right, let's go. <laughs> Thank you.
and the bike is done. Job's done. So Adam, it looks like Josiah is done with the build and it looks pretty good to me. What other notes did you notice when it came together? Oh yeah, it came out beautiful. I mean, notice how straight this chain line is to the back. Look at how the motor is rotated up above the actual chain ring. So we have an excellent clearance down here. And overall, it just looks, it looks intentional. It looks like a factory install. I think this looks great. I can't wait to see it on the road. Yeah, be sure to tune in next time when we take this out as well as the KHS 5000 with the Pro on it. See you next time.